One year ago today, I had this delivered. This was a result of my first uh, check uh, with Kohl's, which hopefully I'll be working for them again uh, very soon. Uh, but yeah, I got this one year ago today delivered to my house. This, of course, is the box for the PlayStation 5. And I was happy to get it. I really was. Just happy to have it. You know, happy to, you know, continue my collection of the PlayStation legacy that I have in my home. Yeah. One year ago, this right here came into my position finally. I worked at Kohl's, saved up some money, and said, this is my goal. My early gift to myself. A little dusty, of course, but hey, what are you going to do? But that was my goal. To get this. And I did. Very happy I did. Because of the fact that, of course, with any new system, I always like to try to, you know, get it, you know, when it's still kind of... Um, I guess you could say, you know, new to an extent. And that's the, the, the dust that gathered up on it, believe it or not. But yeah, that was my intention, to get this, and I did. And my intention was to get the disk drive version, because everybody wanted the disk drive version. And I was happy to get it. And of course, it came with this controller and it came with the stand that is holding that up above my PlayStation 4. That's kind of what helps, you know, prevent it from overheating or anything. Now, I have my PlayStation 4 unplugged right now, but I can always plug it back in in the future. Um, but, at, but be that as it may, I have plans for the PlayStation 4 and it involves that over there in the near future. But, getting back to the PlayStation 5, I was happy to get it. And of course, the only games I had at the time were all my PlayStation 4 games. But what was interesting is some of these actually came with a little bit of a bonus. That bonus was you could you know, get a free upgrade when you, put them into the P when you put them into the PS5. That's right. You could actually upgrade Sonic Frontiers, AEW Fight Forever, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. And I think that's about it here. But yeah, I don't know if any of these got that upgrade or so on. Because I just adjust a lot of the stuff here. But yeah, games like the Cowabunga Collection, AEW Fight Forever... Modern Warfare 2, and, and like I said, you know, so, like I said, Sonic, Frontier, Sonic Frontiers, Fight Forever, Modern Warfare 2, and the Cowabunga Collection were some of the ones you could actually get an upgrade for. You could, and I appreciated that. Again, I'm not sure about these, if they would have gotten it or not. I don't think so. But I will say this, the one... A uh, thing people always hyped about with the PlayStation Five, uh, with the PlayStation Five, was that it didn't matter if you had an upgrade or not. It made games like this, or games like, excuse me, games like this, look really good, and they did. They made them look fantastic, because of course, just like when you pop a DVD into there. It'll up convert the signal to 4K. Now, I will say that it took me time to build my official, official collection of PS5. I have Multiverses on there. I have Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. And they all look great. And those are digital, but they all look great. Even the Contra is on there. And they look great. Look tremendous. But like I said, it took me a while to build this i'm not quite sure how to help you with that i do apologize for that <laughs> that's my uh device up there 
I do apologize. But anyway, like I said, it took me a while to build this, but over time I did. These were the first two official physical games I got for it. Then I got, you know, Zephyr Heights Mystery, and then for my birthday I got College Football uh, 23, uh, 25. And then you look at those four, and then you add in the fact that Cowbunga Collection, Fight Forever, Sonic Frontiers, Modern Warfare can be upgraded to PS5. And then digital-wise, through the subscription service, I have Ratchet and Clank, so the asterisk next to that, uh, that introduces us to Rivet. Um, yeah, I have about 10 PlayStation 5 games. You know, physical, like four physical. And as I mentioned, I'm going to move this just for a second. One... Two, three, so one, two, three, four for upgrade, four for an upgrade, if you will, right there. So that's pretty cool. Four upgrades, four original, you know, four actual. Um, actual um, games if you will so that's four like I said physical games and four um, four four actual physical PlayStation 5 games and then of course four upgrades and then of course the Ratchet and Clank and everything so that's you know asterisk next to that so that's about nine about eight about nine catch a catch can, if you will, nine PS5s uh, that I have. Again, like I said, four are the physical ones here, and four have the upgrade. So it's kind of like technicality wise, it's about eight. So, you know, so hey, you know, get what you can. And of course, recently got a new controller, so helps out. Uh, a lot as well, especially when you want to play some college football uh, 25, but you know, it also helps out to have it because you never know if that controller will die out and you need to charge it while the other one you already have uh, to, oh, well, I'm getting a little tongue tied here, <laughs> but like I said, it's always good to have a secondary controller because you never know if this one might need to charge and this one's already charged and you're good to go. But yeah, it's been a whole year. I'm just, like I said, happy to Happy to have it in the collection, you know, and everything. And my journey, of course, you know, it, it started, uh, basically, it started with the PlayStation 1, the original PlayStation 1. Then, of course, the PlayStation 2. I didn't get the 3 because there was a lot of things, you know, going on with it. You know, and people saying, well, it may not be the best system. And then I guess improvements helped it out. Um... And then, of course, I got the PlayStation 4, and now I got the 5. So, I'm just, like I said, just really happy to have it in the system. And my collection is going to continue to grow. It will continue to grow. My plan is to get Marvel vs. Capcom, either digitally or physical. It might be digital right now uh, going forward, but we'll see. You know, get that collection and all that. And there are a few other games I'm looking into um, as well. That are coming out that I want to, you know, kind of get my hands on and, you know, have as part of the collection. Because you can see how big my PlayStation collection physically and to an extent digitally, you know, has gotten. And then you look at what I've, you know, have for my PlayStation 2 collection. You look at what I have for my PlayStation 2 collection and everything and... Yeah, you can kind of uh, understand, kind of understand, you know, why, you know, getting the, uh, you know, why I'm hoping to build, you know, this collection for the PS5 over time. But anyway, though, guys, that's all I could say right now. I'm, But yeah, it's uh, been a year and it works great. You know, it plays the Blu-rays and DVDs and really just helps out in that area. It doesn't. If, I don't know what happened, but at first it did kind of put DVDs in HDR and then it didn't. So I'm thinking a software update kind of took that out. 
But um, everything else from like, let's say YouTube, uh, Fandango at Home, formerly Voodoo, Paramount Plus, um, Disney Plus, any of the apps that like, let's say you have on your TV here or on your phone and everything, you can also get them on the PlayStation 5, of course, and they will all be showcased in HDR. Because that's the one selling point about the system is you get high dynamic range where you're going to get it with YouTube, with Vandango, with, you know, Paramount Plus and you name it. You're going to get it and it looks tremendous. It looks really, really good. Um, and, uh, and I like that. I appreciate that. Because even, even this movie, you can, if you have that on Voodoo or Amazon, you can, you know, through the PS5, you can watch it in HDR. And that's great. It's really great. Uh, but anyway, that's all I'm going to say, guys, on it. Like I said, let me know what your thoughts are. What Do you guys have a PlayStation 5 yet? And if you do, you know, what what is your first couple of years with, first year or a couple of years been with it like? You know, what did you what do you like about it? Not just from the game perspective, but otherwise, let me know. And until then, I will talk to you later. Check out my Teespring store. Link will be in the description at the bottom. Also, like the video, subscribe. And, you know, ring the bell for notification helps me out. Also, there are links to where you can find my content elsewhere here on the internet. From podcasts to Odyssey to Rumble to DeviantArt. Well, DeviantArt's not on there, but it's DeviantArt.com, BVW1979. But Rumble, Odyssey, you name it, iHeartRadio, Pandora, you know, Spotify, you name it, I am on there. So until next time, guys, I will talk to you all later. God bless. Take care. But yeah, give me your thoughts on the PlayStation 5, your experiences, your first year, a couple of years with it. What, you, what do you like about it outside the games and games, you know, as well. And until then, I am out. Take care. God bless.